Hello, my name is Greg Dimas, a research scientist at Baidu Silicon Valley AI Lab. At Baidu, we're currently exploring the hypothesis that scaling up deep learning algorithms can significantly advance the state of the art in speech recognition and natural language processing. This involves training bigger and deeper recurrent neural networks on larger quantities of training data than has been done in the past. Training deep neural networks is very compute intensive. Training a single model on 8,000 hours of speech data requires about 20 exaflops, or four days on a cluster of 16 GPUs. Our models are also limited by memory capacity, with the biggest models running with about 100 million parameters and being 10 layers deep. We're always looking for ways to strongly scale to more GPUs and to reduce the memory overhead of training so that we can train even bigger models on even bigger datasets. Today, we want to tell you about a way to do both of these at the same time. The most expensive component of our deep recurrent neural networks are the recurrent layers. Most implementations of recurrent layers for GPUs use a series of matrix multiplication operations to perform the computation, loading the weights and activations from off-chip memory on each time step. In high-performance processors such as GPUs, off-chip memory is much slower and much less efficient than on-chip memory such as register files. So a large mini-batch is needed to amortize the cost of loading weights over multiple samples. Using this approach, the weights are loaded once and reused over all samples in the batch. But using a large batch size has several downsides. It increases the amount of memory needed to train a network. This limits the maximum size network that can be trained. It also uses up available data parallelism, limiting the number of GPUs that can be used to train a model. So we'd like to find a way to eliminate loading weights from off-chip memory without increasing the mini batch size. It turns out that unlike many other processors, GPUs actually have enough on-chip memory to store all of the parameters for a single large recurrent layer by combining the register files of thousands of threads together. We discovered that it is possible to exploit this register file memory to load recurrent layer weights from off-chip memory once and reuse them over multiple time steps. Using this approach, we can reduce the mini batch size from 64 to 4, providing a 16 times savings with no loss in throughput. This enables us to train models with up to 11 times more layers, going from 10 to 110 layers. It also allows us to scale training to more nodes without changing the algorithmic batch size, going from 16 to 128 GPUs.